It doesn't matter. They could have done the greatest investigation. What matters is that the state put up competent evidence before this jury to determine the charges and the elements in the indictment. So to me, it doesn't matter what their investigation was. Now, I have challenged the investigation that they did not verify or corroborate. I have no problem with that saying, well, I did verify and bring in the witness or who the witness was that they spoke with, maybe not what they said. But what happened last time with the predecessor judge was over objection. Detective Dennis and Detective Gaither was able to say, oh, we verified that this happened in relation to this, and this happened because of this, and this started a chain with this. And this whole thing started in the fall by September 2014. There were no witnesses here. Okay. Well, I mean, that's the subject for cross-examination then. It's hard to cross when I have no reports. I have no reports. I have no expert report. I don't know who to interview to say, no, that's not true. I never told them that. In fact, I told them something different. This is all to me like I have a bag over my head, and I'm getting smashed with a baseball bat, and I have no idea where to hit because I don't have anything. And I've asked for reports. Judge Glanville told the state to reduce it to writing. This is all confrontation clause, and it's all coming in as a conduit through some, quote, expert. And it comes through with many experts, and to me, it's just like not having a trial. Okay.